I stole Alex Hermosi's content strategy and it has changed the game for me. It used to take me hours every single week to come up with ideas for content. And then once I had the ideas, it would take me even more time to come up with how to package the ideas into content that got engagement and actually led to sales in my business. And to be honest, I didn't have the time to do this consistently. Because of this, there are weeks where I just had to throw something up you know, just to, to make a post that day. But after using the system that I'm gonna share with you in this video, I now enjoy creating content. And I actually have so many good ideas that I'm actually building a system to store them all. And most importantly, I'm able to create and test content fast. And that's everything for a business owner because content creation is only one of the many hats that we wear as business owners. All right, so let's go ahead and jump in. About 12 months ago, Alex Hermosi did a presentation with Think Media on how he gained a million followers in over 12 months. During the presentation, he shared something that really shocked me. He shared that Twitter was the foundation for all of his content. And I don't know about you, but I know him from all of his reels. He even got so famous for his real style that people call them Hormozy style reels. But all the ideas for his viral reels actually came from Twitter. Check out this quick clip from that interview. The old way that I used to do content was I would just have this ongoing email thread to myself. I don't know you guys have like notes or like a chain to yourself. Because you probably get ideas, you're in a conversation, oh, I should make a piece of content on that, right? And then you email it to yourself. And that's how I did it for a long time. And the new way is the Twitter way, which I post all of those ideas as tweets on Twitter rather than just sending them to myself. And so I tweet about five times a day-ish. And the nice thing is that Twitter is a very forgiving platform. I like it because it's just thoughts. Like that's, I love Twitter so much for that reason. And so I'll post this stuff and I'll be like, okay, those are the ones that people thought were interesting. And then the threads become long format and the shorts become short format or the tweets become short format. So after I watched that interview, I started testing it myself and guess what? It worked. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you how I was able to adapt this system for my own content. I'm gonna show you everything from how I come up with ideas, how I test those ideas, and then how I repurpose those ideas for Instagram Reels, as well as YouTube. And I'm gonna share with you the software that I use to automate a large percentage of this process. All right, before we get started, if you are an online coach and you're looking to learn how to grow a coaching business using social media, hit that subscribe button below. That way you can get the most up-to-date strategies to grow your brand online. All right, let's jump in. All right, guys, so right now we are on my Instagram account. And if you guys can see, you'll see that I have a lot of Twitter style posts. And the reason that I have those is I, I genuinely like writing for my main source of, uh, of content creation. And for a really long time, like you can kind of see like down, down here, I relied really heavily on reels, but I didn't really enjoy making those reels as much as I enjoyed writing. So I started, when I found Alex Mosey's strategy, it really excited me because honestly, like looking back, you can even see a lot of the written content that I already had performed better than some of the reels did. Like this one's hidden. It got hit the amount of likes I got because it didn't get that many likes. But my um, my Twitter style posts would would typically perform a lot better. So I started to research more of how could I make that style and have a, a system for creating that style of content because it really fills me up and excites me. So that's what I want to show you in, in this video, okay? Because what you'll see here is that a lot of these pieces of content that I'm going to show here, um, I've actually already tested and proven on Twitter and Threads. And I'm going to show you how to come up with ideas, how to write the hooks uh, or, or write the posts, how to post them, and then how to repurpose them really easily with like a, a click of a button onto Instagram. Okay. All right. So the first step to do this is research. If you're creating content, the number one thing that you need to do to get ideas for content is to consume other people's content. Okay. Think of it this way. If I'm consuming someone's content and they make incredible content. That's going into my brain, all right? That's making me think almost like them, right? And then when I go to create content, it should go out to how I create content, right? So it's like information in is going to mash the information out. So if you're creating crappy content, look at who you're following. Look at the content you're consuming. Are you following just friends and family? Or are you like me, I unsubscribe from all those people. I just follow creators and people that really inspire me and have good content because that is gonna soak up into my brain and I'll be able to create better. So step one is becoming a consumer of the platform you wanna create on. So if you're gonna make 
Twitter style posts on Instagram, then you need to consume tweets. You need to consume threads and not just try to like post your ideas on a blank canvas and turn that into a Twitter style post and post it. It's not gonna work well, okay? So step one is research. All right, so let me show you now what I use to research, okay? And we're on Twitter right now, that's what we're talking about. I use a platform called Tweet Hunter, okay? Tweet Hunter, it is a, uh, it's a paid software but this has been a game changer for me because I can consume information really fast and I can bookmark and save ideas and content that I really like. So Tweet Hunter has two things. One, it has its own like app interface where I can come in here and I can look for daily inspiration. And uh, this is gonna pull from other content creators that it, it thinks based on my content that I might like. And I look at this sometimes, some of this is really good. I've actually recreated some of these pieces of content, but I think the other cool, really cool piece of this is this search feature. So in this search feature, let's say that I'm looking for a topic on, on uh, Instagram. I can type in the word Instagram, right? And I want the exact word Instagram. And I can say, I want this post to have at least 500 likes. It's published at least 30 days ago. And you know what? I actually want this to be a thread right? A, a thread post, like a carousel post. And I push apply. And when I do that, it's going to start giving me other viral content that had the word Instagram inside of it. Okay. So let's go ahead and let it load. All right. So it just loaded and some of these are going to be not great. Okay. Some of these are not going to be good. That's kind of part of it is filtering through. Here's one mastering the Instagram algorithm is the sole reason our clients have made over $20 million in sales. Here's how you can master it too. That's a great thread post. So I, if I like that, inside the software, I can just click here and I can see C and Twitter. And then I can see the full breakdown of what that content creator made, right? Identify your niche, post relevant content, copy popular formats, you know, be relatable. These are all really good pieces of, of advice and feedback. So I actually really like this. So if I like this post, all I need to do is just come over here and bookmark it. Okay, you can add, add it to a bookmark folder. And for me inside of Twitter, I have uh, three bookmark folders and those are based on the content pillars that I talk about, right? Business, health, and productivity. Those are the three things. Uh, I don't create as much around health anymore, but I do a lot around business and productivity. So if that matches it, cool. I'm just gonna add it to my business bookmarks. Now, bookmarks is a paid version of Twitter. So if you don't have that, you can simply like it. And then if you go back to your profile here, you can go over here to likes and you can see all the things that you liked as well, okay? But the goal here is like, you wanna consume really good content. Any content you consume that you're like, man, I wish I wrote that, save it or bookmark it. Now, I'm doing this inside Twitter right now. This same method applies to Instagram, to YouTube, etc. is to consume good people's content and save it, right, bookmark it, for later, because when it comes time to creating content, you just pull from what's already working. You pull from the topics that people wanna see. You can pull from the structure of the actual post itself. And the reason you do that is the algorithms are already showing you that that's working. You should never open a blank Google doc and just start writing. The only people who should do that are people like Alex Ramosi or people who have cracked the code and already understand how content works. If you're not there, you need to have ideas, you need to replicate, you need to copy what's working and make it into your own. Now, never copy and paste word for word. Do not do that. Always, always make it your own, okay? So that's step one is research. You can use tools like Tweet Hunter. you can do it yourself, but just consume information, like do it at least an hour a week and just go through and your whole focus is I'm looking for content ideas that I can create too, okay? So that's step one. All right, step two, now that you have your ideas, we're gonna create daily content. Now, to do this, I really like Twitter and I like Threads. Right now, Threads is giving a lot more reach and Instagram's actually gonna be start rewarding content creators for using Threads. So your reach is gonna be a lot bigger on Threads right now than it will be for Twitter or Instagram or anything like that. So what I do is every single morning after I've got gathered all these ideas, I've saved these, is I'm gonna look for ideas that I, I really like, right? I'm gonna look through my save folder and um, I'm gonna use Tweet Hunter again. You can do this manually, you don't have to do this. But what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go through all the ideas and things that I saved. Let's say that I like Nicholas's Coles. Before I write anything, I consider these four strategic decisions. 
So I'm like, hmm, I like this. I'm going to copy this. I'm gonna come over to my, my Tweet Hunter, which allows me to schedule out tweets. I'll post it in here. And this could, I'm gonna change this. You know, before I make any content, I'm, I'm making this up as I go, right? I probably would, I probably would make this a lot better. But you know, before I create any content, create any content, I consider these four strategic decisions. I'll probably change this. I always answer these, uh, let's say five questions, okay? And then I can then write out my questions, right? But you can see what I liked of that post that I'd saved, I liked the structure of it. So I'm gonna use that same structure and then I'm gonna change it around to what, what I do, okay? So he used the word writing instead, you know, I'm helping uh, coaches create content. So I'm gonna talk about content creation here. And instead of four, I'm gonna change it to five. And then I'm going to write out those five questions that I would ask myself, okay? So all we're doing is taking information that's already working, we're pulling it back in and we're rephrasing it and we're repackaging it into what we do, right? So every single morning I do this, right? I'll schedule out three single tweets just like this and one thread post, okay? So for the, for the thread post, you know, I could do something similar to this one that I really liked, right? And I could just post it in here. Mastering the Instagram algorithm is the sole reason our clients have made over $20 million in sales. Here's how you can master it too. So I could do something similar around using Instagram ads. You know, Instagram ads have been the sole reason, or I probably wouldn't say it like that, but Instagram ads have made our clients over $2 million in the past six months alone. Here's how you can master them too, or here's how you can do them too, right? And then inside of your, I really like Tweet Hunter because I can just like, it'll show me the tweets over here or the threads on the, um, the far right. So I could be like, you know, step one, you know, let's do make a carousel ad, right? And then I could write some more information about that, blah, blah, right? And then I would go step two and just continue on. And I can go all the way through. And the reason that I really like Tweet Hunter is because once I make this, I can just schedule it out, right? So every single day, what I do is I schedule the Twitter post on Twitter, right? I push post. And when that happens, it's gonna post on Twitter automatically. But what I what I don't have set up right now, and I'm sure there's probably some API automations that'll do this too, but uh, I, right now my team will just manually copy this. So once something gets posted on, on Twitter from that scheduling post, I'll come down here and then I will just copy the exact thread. So let's just, or the post. So I'll just take this one here. I'll copy this, I'll pull up threads, I'll push post, and then I'll push, you know, I'll copy it in there and push post, right? So I'm scheduling stuff on Twitter. I take that, I copy and paste it on threads too. That's all we do. And we do that every single day. So if I have three Twitter style posts and one thread every single day, that's gonna give me a lot of posts by the end of the week, right? Let's just say I'm doing that on weekdays. If I make four posts a day, five days a week, that's 20 posts, okay? 20 posts a week. And from there, the next step to this is seeing what did well of the posts you just made, okay? So my process here is I typically scroll through threads. Again, my, my Twitter, I, it's pretty small and I don't get a ton of engagement on it, but for some reason right now, I said, you know, threads is giving me a lot of reach. So once I make that post on threads, every single Sunday, I come through here and I look at what did well. Okay, so that one didn't do well. Okay, this one got 116 likes. So this did do well. So I'm, I'm gonna mark this and, and set this aside. And I'm gonna keep going. Okay, this one got 382 likes. Great, this one got 331 likes. Great, so I, I now already know, okay, the algorithm or the, the people like this message, okay? Every Sunday I go through, if I made 20 posts, I'm really looking for like three to five of them that crushed it, okay? And maybe crushing it for you is like 10 likes. That's okay. But for me, some of these really took off. Like this one here got 1400 likes. So this was a really good one too. I could totally take this one and, and make it into a repurposed post next week. Okay, so stage three, we're still in stage three here. Stage one was research. Stage two was just make a Twitter post or a thread post four times a day. And then on Sunday in stage three, we're gonna go through all the ones that did really well. And here's the cool part, because this is the reason that I want you to also post on, on, uh, on Twitter. So let's say that this one, this one actually I'm posting later today. I posted it here. I also posted it on, um, on threads. It did well on threads too. Let me see if I can pull it back up. 
and find it. It's got 173 likes, so I liked it a lot. So what I'm gonna do is I now wanna repurpose those pieces of content into these thread style posts, right? Or like the, to post them on Instagram, okay, for the following week. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come to Twitter and there is this awesome tool I'm about to share with you and it's gonna blow your mind. All you're gonna do is just click uh, this share button and you're gonna push copy link. And now you're gonna go into this software called TweetPick, okay? Uh, this, this is actually free. I think if you wanna have like a, a premium version, you can pay for it. I, I paid for mine. I just like it so much. I was like, I'll give you money to support you. <laughs> But I can um, post the URL of the Twitter style image or the Twitter post into here and push take screenshot. Now watch this. All right, select all posts. This thing has changed my life because I, I used to make all of these things in Canva and TweetPick will do it like that. Uh, and TweetPick is also part of Tweet Hunter. It's that original software that I was showing you that I used for, for research. So uh, great, great platform. All right. So I select all those posts. I then can come down here and here are my posts for Instagram. Guys, it just saved so much time. <laughs> Maybe I'm just so excited. Okay, so then what we're gonna come, what come over here is uh, I can change this into an Instagram feed that's a square post. I can change this into a vertical post, right? So it just takes up more real estate. If this was a single Twitter post, I could just make it a story post and like, you know, I could turn this into a reel. So you guys see sometimes like Alex or Mosey and I've tested it on a couple of mine too, to see like if reels do better than, you know, standalone photos. I honestly haven't noticed a huge difference between the two, but you just test it on your account and see which one does better. But let's do the, the vertical feed and then theme. You can create your own. I've got, I created my own and, and made a, a black version that I really like that matches a lot of the content I create. And then from here, I would just push download, <laughs> right? I push download and I can now go upload this to Instagram or Facebook or LinkedIn and they're all ready to go like that. Okay. Isn't that freaking awesome? Isn't that awesome? So tweet pick, I, I, this is legit. I'm like so excited by this because now my content creation process, like, like I shared with you is I, I come in here, I research, I post four day, I see which ones do well. I don't have to guess which one's going to do well on Instagram because they've already done well. So like all of these are already things that have done well. This did well, this did well, this did well, you know, this did okay on, on the, on threads. And guess what? It did okay over here. This one did great on threads. So I posted again. All of these things have done well already because I posted them on Twitter or threads before I posted them on Instagram. And Instagram is my main platform. This is where we get most of our leads. So it allows me to, to test things before ideas, see what works and then put them on Instagram. This is a game changer, okay? So that's step three. Okay, there's, there's two more steps I wanna hit on here, right? So, so far we've repurposed for Instagram and we've tested different ideas. The fourth step to all of this is now that I've posted it on Instagram and it's doing well, um, also it's posted on threads, I can just take that same concept and turn it into an Instagram talking head reel, right? So I could use this same hook here and make this into an Instagram reel post. And I could make, you know, making content is big hard, right? Like that hook alone, I'm sure would do really well. People would be like, yeah, it is, right? That and that like, and that's why you should post every day. You need reps. And then if this was a, a, a short or a reel, I'd probably be like, you know, here's three ways to create content faster or right, you know, something like that. Like, or I, I could give some sort of value tips at the end, but that's a solid hook that I could use for a reel. Okay, so I can now go through all of the, the thread posts that did well and say, cool, I can just copy and paste, repost them as, as threads or, or tweet posts and I can turn these into reels. Okay, it's pretty cool, right? So that's step four, is just re-saying those as in a video form, adding a little bit more context, hooks, and, and, uh, and, and just like valuable content, okay? All right, so step five is now repurposing this into long form content like YouTube videos, which one I'm doing right now. So for this, all we need to do is look at the thread posts that did really well, okay? So for instance, this one right here, starting a coaching business is easier than ever in 2024. It takes 48 hours from start to finish, nine steps to get started in order. Guys, you guys wanna see something cool? <laughs> All right, so now I'm in YouTube and guess what? 
how to start a coaching business in 2024. This has got over three, up almost 300 views, um, and it's doing actually one of the best on my channel. Well, guess what? You know, this <laughs> is the same thing that's in here, okay? Like you could consume this. De step one, determine who you're helping. Step two, determine what's included. Step three, pricing. EIN, bank account. Well guys, if you guys go through this video right now, I'll, I'll go ahead and open up this section here. Look, look at this. Who are gonna help? What's included? What's it priced at? Set up an LLC. All the same things that are in this video are in my thread post, okay? It did well on one platform. Let me just make it into a video. So now all that you have to do as a, as a business owner and a content creator is, is just is post four of these a day, okay? Post four. Twitter style posts today, three of them being single tweet posts, right? One of them being a thread. By the end of the week, let's just say you post five times a week, you have 20 pieces of content, five threads, and then 15 single posts, okay? From there, you can just see which did the best, and you can make those into just copy paste images with tweet pick, do it, it's gonna save you a ton of time. You can turn those into reels with ideas and you can turn one of the thread posts. Again, you made five of them if you made one a day. Turn one of them into a YouTube video, okay? So now all you need to do every single morning is just sit down for 30 minutes, look at other people's content and for inspiration ideas, post them out there, see what does well, and then recreate that, okay? That's all you have to do. And this is what I'm doing every day and I actually am excited by it. Like I'm excited by looking for thread ideas, posting threads, and then if they do well, uh, thinking about how we can purpose them and package them into longer form content. So yeah, this is what I'm doing now and it's saved me a ton of time. Uh, it's really helped me and like, I feel so much more creative now. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm like excited by content where there's been times where I just don't wanna do any content, but right now I'm very excited by it. So use this. If you guys like this, use this, take this. Alex Hermosi shared it with the world. Uh, I was able to kind of weave it into more of my style using software automations and uh, a few other things that just make it easier, okay? So I hope this helps. If you guys enjoyed this, save this video, like it. You can share it with a friend. You know, all that helps so that I can create more content like this to help you grow and scale a coaching business. All right, so see you next time.